Typically, when you expose a dataset for web editing, you're looking for input from a variety of users. One way to get meaningful input and to preserve your data integrity is to carefully prepare feature templates. A feature template defines the types of items users are allowed to add to a dataset. For example, a feature template for a bird survey layer might allow users to choose from a set of bird names common to the area, and then enter the appropriate information for the birds they observe. This video shows the process for managing feature templates on a new empty hosted feature layer you created through the ArcGIS Online website. Your first step for collecting data from users is to enable editing on the hosted feature layer. To do this, edit the item details and check the box next to Enable Editing. Next, open the service in the Map Viewer and set up the symbology. This symbology was created with basic symbols and color schemes available in ArcGIS Online. You may want to restrict editing on some attribute fields. Do this through the Configure Pop-ups option. For example, you don't want users to edit the names of bird species. When you save your layer changes in the Map Viewer, you're also saving the changes to the item in My Content. Once you've set up your symbols and editing properties, click the Edit button and then click the Manage button. You only see this button if you're the owner of the layer or an administrator in your organization. Select the layer you want to manage. For each feature type, there are options. You can move items up or down. You might put common birds at the top so users can find them easily. Each template starts off with one subtype. The subtype gives you control over default attribute values. For example, the scientific name of the sooty tern is Sterna fuscata ohoensis. You don't want users to type that every time they see a sooty tern. Now this field will be populated automatically when a sooty tern is added to the map. Create additional subtypes to get more control over user input. You want to be sure habitat values are entered consistently. Suppose every bird should be assigned to one of three habitats according to where it's sighted. One habitat is the beach. Now copy the subtype and rename it. The second habitat is on a sea cliff. The third possibility is an offshore sighting. Users will have three sooty turn templates to choose from. Each applies the same symbol, but a different habitat value. This takes more setup time, but is less work for users. Most importantly, it helps ensure that the data is consistent. In this year's survey, one of your observers may spot a new bird in the area. You can add a new type of feature. Add a label and an attribute value and set the symbol. Click Save Changes when you're done updating the feature types and templates. Your changes are saved to your hosted feature layer. The feature template is now available to anybody you allow to edit your layer.